Hey everyone, it's Victoria, and today I have a soup that's so delicious, you're going to die. No, you're not going to die. You're going to love it. i got to have some. You want to know what's in it, huh? I'll tell you what's in it. Mm. By the way, it's day 21. Hello? Are we missing something? 21. I made it to 21. That's three weeks. Three full weeks on no fat, well, low fat, but no overts. Um, raw vegan 30 day challenge. Yeah, that's what I'm up to. Did I lose any weight? Very little. Very slow, slow weight loss. It's okay, it happens. I'm not happy about it, but it happens. Okay, so what's in my soup? I'm going to be eating while we talk because I love the soup. Mmm. I was craving lemons, but I didn't want anything to be that harsh. So what I did was I took some cherry tomatoes and one orange tomato that was really good in heirloom. Mm. One lemon. Squeeze that. Half of a long English cucumber. Four stalks of celery. Uh, one thing of curly uh, parsley. And uh, what else did I put in there? Oh. Are you ready to hear what I put in? A half a small watermelon. Mm-hmm. This is amazing because it's not too tart now. It's perfect. And what I loved about that watermelon was I really didn't have any use for that watermelon because it was honestly too bland. It didn't have enough ripeness. But it was perfect for my soup because it, it gave it just the right amount of sweetness. This is amazing. Mm. All right, I'm probably not going to eat the entire thing while I'm talking, but wow, it is so creamy. It almost tastes like there's coconut in it, and there's no coconut. It's crazy good. You know, these foods only taste good when you're not eating cooked foods. Your taste buds have to change over in order for you to appreciate the raw foods. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm, I'm knowing. That's what I know for sure. And I feel so much better after raw foods than I do after cooked foods. Hands down. I mean, if I have cooked foods once after raw food, I'll feel it. If I have cooked food all the time, I won't feel anything, but it does gradually build up in your blood as cooked sludge. It doesn't break down the way raw foods do. It just doesn't. Look, I'm just a messenger. I can only tell you from my experience what I'm feeling and I'm telling you, after years of going back and forth, I always go back because I always want the truth and I always want to feel good. And, you know, I think I've done enough damage with cooked food all my life and in the last couple of years to know the difference. And my cooked food is not anywhere near the cooked food that the rest of America is having or the rest of the world for that matter. So go figure that out. All right? Mm. I'm finding I'm not that hungry. I think my body's getting what it needs because I know it is. Because I'm not that hungry. I'm on a cooked food diet. I was eating just to satiate some need. I didn't know what was wrong. It was a nutrition um, deficiency. Mm. My iodine levels were so low on my blood test. I know I have to go pick them up so I can show everybody. So, so low. It's funny, it says the thyroid is okay, but it's not okay, because if the iodine, the iodine is not fine, then it's not fine. It will show up a couple of years later, so I've been told. It will show up a couple of years later, and then it'll be too late. I'll be gaining like 50 pounds, and nobody will know what. Oh, it's your thyroid. Let's reverse it. Oh, so I should be fat for five years and not know the problem. No, no, no. Take care of it now. I'm not using any synth anything synthetic. I'm using... Uh, it's called Monolaurin. It's a supplement. It's all natural. It's from uh, derived from raw coconuts. And it should kill what's attacking my thyroid, which is Epstein-Barr. It's causing something. And also vaccines, you know. I mean, I was a big fan of vaccines because I didn't want the disease because there's so many outbreaks out. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not having the vaccines now. So, I've done enough damage. What else can we talk about? 
I, I think I'm doing great. I think I got really used to eating raw foods as my fuel. And I'm not looking at cooked foods. Yeah, the smells and tastes are great, but not the same, not the same feeling later on. I'm really happy with how I sleep at night, how I wake up in the morning. I don't have the same grogginess that I did when I had starches. Starches over time, no bueno. Mm. All right, it's a low key video today. It's one I had to keep up, right? 21 days. I did have some car trouble. I have some phone trouble. My daughter got hit in the head yesterday. I ended up in the ER. Check it out. Everything's fine, but still, a lot of hectic times. And yet, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm not going crazy. I'm not getting that upset. I think that this food has a lot to do with the balance that I've had in the last couple of weeks. So, if you want more balance, if you want to put in 100%, you get 100%. Um, nobody said it was going to be easy in the beginning, but nobody said it was going to be hard either. It's not hard. It's just different. It's just different. Everything you're doing is just different. You're changing something over. And you're doing it one fruit at a time. You really aren't saying that you're going to do it for life. You're doing it for 30 days. If you feel good and it's easy, that if it's, if it's easy, then keep doing it. If it's hard, modify it. You know? Don't do it every meal. If it's hard. I mean, let, let's get real here. What's hard mean? Like, is it really difficult for you to be raw? If it's that difficult, then by all means, change it. But if it's not that difficult, go a little bit further. Get a little bit above your comfort zone. That's how things change. That's how you get from here to here, and that's how marathons happen, and that's how ultra distance happens, and that's how people get to the Olympics, because they get out of their comfort zone. So get out of your comfort zone and keep on going. I hope this motivates you in some way. Take care, everyone. Bye.